this question of register, uh, this is the meat of things. Uh, at least um, there is a conflict there. On one side is insisting on manual register, the other one says, you know, we'll learn the electronic register. Educate me. What's the difference? Let's start with you, Dr. Ari. <laughs> um, I think we need to accept the fact that 207, what happened in 207 in this country, um, has continued to be very instructive regarding um, how we run our elections. And so when 2007 happened um, and we ran into a crisis, uh, one of the people we called to the country to help us understand what had happened was a judge, a South African judge called Judge Krigler. And in, in, in making the finding that it was not even possible to determine who had won the election, uh, he proceeded then to make recommendations. And one of the recommendations was that Kenya should really move towards adopting um, a more, um, you know, electronic, you know, type of, you know, voting um, to enhance, uh, you know, fairness, fairness uh, transparency, you know, and verifiability of the, of the elections. Subsequent to that, obviously, uh, we have had a new constitution that builds a lot of that language, you know, uh, into the into, into into our constitutional order, um, and when you look at uh, our 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 elections act, um, you can clearly see that the choice has been made. The normative choice has been made that Kenya should adopt um, um, an electronic uh, sort of led. Um, electoral process. And so, starting all the way from, I believe, uh, the provisions of Section 6 uh, of the Elections Act, um, the Act requires IBC to uh, undertake uh, biometric registration of voters. Um, you, you, you know, you come ahead and you, you find yourself confronted with another requirement that IBC should carry out verification about, you know, of, of, of those, um, you know, of those voters uh, about six months to elections. Um, you know, you come to uh, the most important section, I think, in relation to technology, uh, which is, I believe, section 44, which requires IBC to put in place, um, um, you know, an integrated election management system, an integrated um, electoral, um, or rather electronic election management system. Um, and Section 44 then requires IBC to have in place a complementary system or a complementary mechanism in the language of the statute. The net effect of all that is that, to my reading, um, the law as it is requires that we have one register. And that register is an electronic register um, that is nested in this uh, technological um, system uh, called the Kenya Integrated Electro Management System, otherwise known as the Kim's Kids, et cetera, et cetera. And that that, that process starts with a voter identification device, uh, which is all elect you know, electronic, uh, which requires that one should be able to identify themselves uh, using their biometric features, and that in the absence of that, uh, the complementary of that is to use um, other forms of significant identification, um, but all of which are linked to um, you know, the, 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 the identification framework. Uh, the electronic trans uh, identification framework, mm. and that requires that then your identity card as a voter um, is entered into um, the KIMS kit, and that brings up your details. For example, you're a person, person with disability, or if peradventure, you know, your, your, you know your, 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 your thumbs or whatever you know, are disfigured, et cetera, et cetera. And so I think the view that has been taken is, in view of our history, where we've come from, um, and the imperative for uh, a transparent, um, fair, and verifiable election, in view of the requirement of the statute, you know, from biometric voter identification, uh, verification, 
the requirement of the system. All of that together, in my view, uh, require that we have um, an electronic system, a very robust electronic system, um, that is almost, you know, that is capable of standing master in whatever situation, and but, that if peradventure one yeah. needs to use any other methods, that you should be able to enter, you know, to, to feed back into the same electronic system.